So in this video, I'm going to share with you a really simple thought post impact into your finish here, which is really going to help you rotate nicely through impact. So if you're someone who stalls out their rotation going through the golf ball, this is going to be perfect for you. It's really simple, really easy to be able to do and it gets you nice rotational results going through the golf ball. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So to start this off here, guys, I'm going to hit two shots because hitting these two shots is really going to showcase how simple of a concept this is and how effective this is with rotation. So I'm going to hit two balls. One is going to be what I normally see players do as a fault. And the other one is something that you can do quite easily to be able to add more rotation. So here's the first one. Now let's hit one more. So this is going to be the better one. So if we have a little look at those two swings there, what we're going to see, you can see the first one, it's very slow in its rotation, maybe quite a lot of flip with the hands going through there. And you can see the main important thing, the chest and the belt buckle pointing dead straight in front of me, maybe even slightly out to the right there. So with that second one there, we could see a lot more rotation. Hands were moving a little bit more left and around me post impact. And two, you could see my chest and my belt buckle pointing way further left of target. So as you can see, my body pointing in two different places at my finish. So after I've hit the golf ball had a massive influence on what I did going through the golf ball. So you could see with that first one that if my body is only pointing at my target, at my finish with middle of my chest and my belt buckle, I couldn't have rotated. I can't rotate all that much to be in that position because I can't have a really good rotational move going through there and physically freeze my body in that direction. I can't do that. My body would continue to go and move through. So if I'm just having that chest and that belt buckle pointing down there, I'm never going to be having that much rotation going through the golf ball. I could be having all the things in my golf swing that we always talk about in videos here that you need to rotate. But then if I'm at my finish with my chest and my belt buckle pointing dead straight down my target line, maybe even slightly right, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to slow down my chest rotation, my hip rotation. That means I'm going to get quite flippy through the golf ball. I'm going to lack rotational torque, so I'm not going to be hitting the ball as far as I could do. I'm going to suffer quite a bit. So with that second one, like we were really explaining with the first there, if my chest is pointing more left and my belt buckle more left in my finish, so right around here, I have to have rotated more going through impact to achieve that. So really, really simple of a thought, something that we don't actually have to think about what we're doing through the golf ball. We could just purely think of, right, I want my chest and my belt buckle pointing left. So for me at my left upright, and I have gonna, I'm just gonna turn more going through the golf ball. So something as simple as a thought of that, sticking your finish is going to make a huge difference. Think of like Rory McIlroy, for example, how much his chest and his belt buckle was turned through the golf ball. Now, of course, Rory's an athlete. He can get into those crazy contorted positions. But even if we try to do that, even just a little bit, we're going to get more rotation through the golf ball. Because that's with top players here. You might see them in all different positions in regards to their hands and arms and their club at the top, but they will be very similar with their chest and their lower body. They will be having their lower body and their chest pointing left of that target. They might not all be like Rory, really left. They might just be a little bit, but they will never be pointing it down their target line and slightly right there. Because if they do, they're not going to turn. They're going to lose a little bit of power. They're going to lose control of their club face. It's going to be a bad time for them. So simple thought, chest, and belt buckle pointing towards the left hand side here. So really as far left as you can comfortably do with that finish position. So I would go even deeper into that. And like I've been saying belt buckle, not hips. I could even say like here, my microphone or my zipper, I could be thinking of that an external focus. So it's not our body. We're better at really moving in different ways if we're thinking of something external, which is not our body like our zipper here. So we could be thinking, belt buckle, zipper point in there. And to start off with, just do half swings. Do half swings on the range where you're just doing halfway back, but really go through that golf ball. So you can see, I haven't had a full finish with my arms, but my chest has had a good full finish and my belt buckle has had a good full finish. So to get yourself comfortable, 
just do it with half swings to start off with so just a good few half swings really getting through there you're really going to feel a lot more effortless with your rotation it's going to feel way easier to do because you're thinking of where you want it to finish you're thinking of the outcome of it and then as you get more comfortable build it up and then just continue to do the same feel feel like you're rory McElroy at your finish really get in that same position so let's hit a full one and you can tell there it looked like i had a lot more speed to that shot that's just because I was really trying to get that body pointing way more left. Then that will mean that your impact, which it is, is just a moment in time. You're not trying to hit that ball because your focus here is not about the ball, it's about the finish. And that's why I really like this move because it even gets you more into the mode of swinging a golf club, not hitting a golf ball. So very simple thought here, guys. Get that chest and that belt buckle pointing left. Go even more extreme. Think of your polo buttons on your shirt there pointing left with your belt buckle really make it that focused so if you enjoyed the video of course click the like button if you want more golf instruction just like this hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time i put out a video so get yourself pointing left at your finish you'll turn more through the ball